Hi guys, so before I get into the whole kind of Philip Kingsley Trichologist review or the products they've kind of given me, I thought I'd share with you a bit of my hair loss journey. So I feel like it's such a personal thing for everyone and it's so different for everyone. And it seems like something that might be really vain, but it's something that actually kind of really affects us all on a deeper level and is, is quite stressful when you're going through it and quite upsetting. So mine was a really brief period of shedding, to be fair. It was from November through to the start of February, so three months, and it was hugely noticeable. Normally when I wash my hair, I mean, minimal shedding, like nothing, maybe like 20, 50 strands come out through the wash, the blow dry, the brushing out the tangles, everything. I'm talking for three months, three giant clumps at a time were coming out, as well as like literally bits breaking off. It was the weirdest thing. And it was so frustrating. Literally, I washed my hair, it would be so tangled. So to try and get the knots out, I was brushing it. When I spoke to the trichologist, they do think it's COVID related because I had COVID really, really badly for an entire month. I was on like steroid inhalers. It was not good. And they feel like because the hair's a non-essential tissue, that kind of like was kind of put on the side whilst my body was healing. And then they're hearing a lot, a lot more about the COVID hair related loss. There's no scientific proof of it, but that's what they're putting it down to because it was such a rapid start and such a rapid finish, literally stopped straight away and went back to normal. So during that time, there was two other factors as well. So I did swatch so, um, swap shampoo and conditioner. Normally I'm really good about buying really expensive and nice sulfate free shampoos and conditioners. I still got sulfate free, but I switched to Pantene, which obviously is not good for your hair. It coated it in silicone. My hairdresser had to do like a whole hair bath to try and cleanse all of the buildup out of the hair. They think that's what caused kind of like the knotty, knots going on in it. But the hair loss, I think, was the COVID. So anyway, regardless, three months, lots and lots of shedding, and I lost so much hair. It's so thin compared to what it normally is. Normally my hair, if you used to watch me on hair, I do sometimes put extensions in, yes, but I still normally have really thick hair. Both my parents have really thick hair. Um, so for me, it was very like the ends, like it needs a cut as well, obviously, but these ends weren't straggly before. It's like literally you can see where it was breaking off throughout and on this side of the hair literally the first quarter of my head there's literally nothing there and then obviously only up in the hairlines around the front that's really really thin compared to what it was and kind of like looking almost like receded so I'm one of these people that does not settle like oh okay well I'm just gonna have thinning hair like no I'm gonna like figure out what's going on so I kind of like did some research. I'd seen Lorna Lux in England have really, really good success with Philip Kingsley. My niece is a hairdresser in England and she recommended them. So Philip Kingsley actually has a New York office, which is cool and you can set up virtual appointments. So obviously I live on the other side of the country. Going there would have been a nightmare, and really expensive and all the rest of it. Although I could have tied it into a nice fun trip to New York. But regardless, I ended up doing their virtual consultation. So it's what I really, really like about them. There were well, loads of things I really like, actually. I literally just used their products for the first time today. I got them yesterday, couldn't wait, did everything today. But I kind of talk you through the whole kind of process. So when I made the virtual consultation, the first thing they did was send me all of these forms and then specific blood work I had to have done in advance because they're not just trying to sell you products. It's not like, oh yeah, buy all these products. They're going to work for you. They're like, no, products only do so much. You have to see what's going on. And supplements only work so well. There's no point taking supplements. So you've already got really good vitamin C and zinc levels. They're not going to prescribe you more vitamin C and zinc. It's pointless. So they wanted to know certain things and then they built the plan out from there. So once I had my blog work done, it was cool. They scheduled me with an hour with a trichologist called Liz. She was really, really sweet very listening we went through my whole hair history so a lot of mine is like I tend to do I always thought it was being kinder to my hair a very slick bun sometimes really tight just to save heat damage but obviously that's putting tension on the hair and causing more breakage so I learned a lot of things and it was kind of like there was a lot of myths on there that kind of got debunked for me like washing the hair every day I think that was the biggest thing I'll get back to the bub work but with washing the hair, I kind of like do every two to three days because I didn't want to heat damage it. And you're kind of thinking, oh, the natural oils are supposed to be good for the hair. At Philip Kingsley, they kind of have a different philosophy where they're saying you want to wash it every day. Um, don't heat style it every day, but wash it every day because they kind of like gave the analogy that like at the end of the day, 
you wash your face and then put your serums and moisturizer on your hair. You don't try and put your serums and the moisturizers on top of your makeup. It's not gonna get in as well. It's not gonna be as effective. And you're gonna end up with like blocked pores. Well, you've, your scalp is the same and they're trying to think, it's the scalp health that's the most important for the regrowth and getting your hair healthy again. And not necessarily gonna like grow all this luscious locks, but even if you're preventing the, the shedding and preventing losing more hair. So I'm gonna show you all the products and go through everything so I can kind of discuss what went on in the consultation and then why each thing was prescribed for me because some things you can buy on their website, I'll put a link below as well because they're giving away a free elasticizer and it's worth $32. So that's really cool and that's kind of their product they're known for. But a lot of this stuff is prescription. So you have to do the consultation either at the London office if you live in London or the New York office if you live in the US because you can't get prescription for UK to US and vice versa. So you need to do it in your country. So it doesn't. you don't have to live there. That's what's cool. You can do these anywhere. But let me show you what they sent me and why they sent me and prescribed me each thing. Okay, so like I said, the first thing we talked about was my diet and my supplements. I sent her all the kind of informational panels for my supplements and she actually took things out as well as adding them because she said there was a lot of things where I was doubling up on them because I was doing a hair vitamin and a multivitamin and collagen. So we kept the multivitamin, which I'm surprised. I thought we'd keep the hair one and the collagen. We kept the multivitamin, we kept the collagen, I got a powder collagen and we got rid of the hair vitamins because she just said there was too much I was doubling up on. What she did prescribe me is these. They are the Philip Kingsley gelatin capsules and I take them twice a day. So two with my breakfast, two with my lunch. And it's also got things like glycine in, lysine, glutamic acid, alanine, all the good stuff. Um, so, and it's bovine gelatin, which she said is kind of like the best form of it. So that's the only supplements they added. So kind of one in, one out, which is good. So I'm not kind of like a walking medicine cabinet. Then we kind of started getting into the products. So once a week, it's a bit like doing a facial for your hair. So she's like, you know, a lot of people, they end their skincare routine here. We forget about the scalp. So with regrowth and trying to get the hair, the new hair as healthy as possible. The old hair is kind of like, you can keep it hydrated. It's, you know, you can't really do that much with it. It's not gonna miraculously heal or kind of like something get thick on the ends. But we, what we can do is concentrate on the new regrowth. So once a week, I do this like facial. I did it for the first time this morning and I can feel, obviously it's not gonna be like voluminous and massive Rapunzel hair overnight. It does feel really, really soft. I will say that about it. So I had to start with their H1 scalp cream and this is one of their prescription things. Um, and you, this is like a pre-wash. So what I did this morning, you have to dampen all your hair and they have all these instructional videos. They show you how to do it and you put that on all over your scalp and cover it. And I have to say, because there's a lot of menthol in this, I could feel it tingling. And when I spoke to her this morning, I was like, is this supposed to tingle? Like I'm worried like it's burning. Like I'm so paranoid about all my hair falling out now. So no, no, it's absolutely fine. It's a menthol in it. Obviously if you have an allergic reaction, that's different, but it was just a tingle. So it does tingle going on. That was followed at the same time immediately afterwards this is what i'm talking about the elasticizer this is not prescription you can get it on their website it's supposed to add elasticity and bounce to fine medium and coarse hair so a lot of people like you're doing comparisons between the philip kingsley elasticizer and the olaplex online but they're really quite different products because olaplex is a protein yes it's trying to help strengthen the hair but it can, you're not supposed to sleep in it, can make it brittle and actually break if you leave protein masks in your hair too long or have been told. I'm not a hair professional. That's why I don't use it overnight. I was using it for the amount of time you're supposed to. This one, apparently you can sleep in overnight. It's not gonna do that. It increases the elasticity rather than just necessarily making it brittle. So that's what I kind of liked about this. So what I have to do is put this on and then this kind of goes through mid lengths all the way through the ends, really concentrating on the ends and you have to do it section by section. So it is quite a lengthy process, but I'm really invested in my hair and growing it back as healthy as possible. And we spend time on our face. So I just feel like my hair was getting neglected anyway. Then if you little shower cap and you put it on and I just left it in for an hour. It says 20 minutes minimum, leave it on all day, sleep in it, do what you want to do. But I left it in for an hour this morning Morning. and then you have to wash it out obviously because it's a pre-wash mask and they gave me there's loads of different shampoos in their collection this one is the bodybuilding shampoo to volumize and lift fine flat fly well way hair everything is cruelty free that's another reason I chose these as my trichologists um, it's not available on it's not part of your health plan or your insurance in America you do have to pay for it out of pocket 
but the bodybuilding one and you have to wash your hair twice after doing the hair mask and then you follow it with the conditioner and they give me the moisture balancing conditioner just because I said my hair was snapping so you really want to increase the moisture in there and then that was followed by the Kingsley Density Preserving Scalp Drops and it comes in a little bottle like this and basically you use 2.5 and it's got little measurements on there, milliliters a day. And that goes on your scalp as soon as you've washed it, damp hair, if you're not washing your hair that day, you can put it on your dry, dry scalp, it's fine. And again, they show you instructional videos how you part it, make sure the scalp's completely covered. And then, I know this sounds a lot, right? But this is a weekly, and then I use their daily defense leave-in conditioner, which was supposed to detangle. So with the elasticizer, I loved how soft it made it. That's again the weekly. So the daily would be, for me personally, it's the bodybuilding shampoo, the moisturizing conditioner, the density drops, and then the leave-in conditioner, which really isn't, I would normally do obviously shampoo and conditioner and leave-in conditioner and kind of a serum or a split end healer. So it's literally the same amount of products I'm using anyway, the same amount of time to wash and dry my hair. Maybe the scalps add an extra five minutes in if I'm being really like good with measuring the right amount. It took me like five minutes this morning because it's my first time using them. Um, the shampoo, I found like it kind of made it a bit squeaky clean, I have to say. The condition, I really like the smell of both the shampoo and the conditioner. It was really lovely. It's kind of like, it's like being in a spa. It's actually quite herbal, this one, but it didn't leave it. Oh, I've got conditioner on my hands now. Um, it didn't leave it kind of like a residue like some conditioners do they're, when they're too heavy. And again, the elasticizer came out. It didn't leave it kind of like weighed down. I was a bit worried because it does have castor seed oil and the glycerin. So I was kind of worried it'd be weighed down, but I think that's why they make you double wash it. So there's no kind of residue. So they're really cool. And then this, the detangler, it's quite a small one, but you don't need a lot. Um, my hair still felt a little tangly, I will say, with that. So I think I just need to probably use a little bit more, especially on the ends. Hi, baby. See, if this is my first time watching my YouTube, he always comes and says hi. If there's boxes and plastic, he will be here with the unboxings. The rest of the time, he just wants to come and say hi. He's a talker, guess, takes it from his mum. So those are the products. And obviously, the daily is a lot quicker and easier. My hair's naturally curly, so when she said wash it every day, I'm like, oh God, really? Especially after working out, because they don't want to leave the sweat on your scalp. They want a clean scalp to put the products onto. So I'm trying now just to blow dry it. And again, when they're saying heat styling, you're supposed to turn the heat down. What they, One of the tips I picked up off of their Instagram, you can pick up loads of tips off of their Instagram. You don't have to just do a consultation that you pay for to get all of their tips. A couple of things I picked up was one, do the blow dryer test on your hand. Just blast it really quickly with hot air. Don't do it so you burn yourself. But I'm like, just really quick blast. If, it, if it's too hot for your hands and your skin, it's too hot for your hair. So just turning it down. So. It is taking longer to blow dry my hair and then I'm not heat styling it. So that's why it's kind of a bit just of a blah mess. I normally like it all curled or straightened and kind of like more put together, but I'm just gonna have to bear with it and deal with it because the less heat damage, the better, especially washing it every day. So days where I'm kind of like talking to you guys, oh, I'll at least blow dry it. The rest of the time, I'm just gonna let it do its natural curl, stick it up in a loose ponytail, crocodile grip, try and stay away from the tight buns and elastics, which I like to do just to get rid of some of the tension. So those are some of the tips I picked up from the Instagram. Also, I didn't realize I was using boar bristle brushes and they recommend to stay away from them because apparently they damage the cuticle of the hair. So I kind of ordered a couple of brushes from them as well. So that's kind of the start of my journey with Philip Kingsley and trying to deal with this hair loss and hair thinning. So for me, it's not stopping the shedding anymore. We're good with that. It's just getting the hair back healthy. So I'm gonna keep updating these. I have to keep checking in with them because it's one of those fluid programs once you're with them. It's not like, here you go. I also had to send, after I washed and dried my hair two days in a row, I had to send hair samples for my brush each time I washed it over two separate days so that then they could measure the diameter of the hair because they want to make sure the hair's not thinning. So I really, really like how comprehensive they are. They're really covering everything. It's really an inside out it's a approach. It's really kind of like tackling it from all angles and being fluid. So if they're not seeing results after one to two months with this, we'll then play around with it and change the prescription. It's like, here you go, you're done. So a couple of months, we'll check on it. And then six months is when we really, really want to see. They'll get more hair samples and compare day one to kind of six months later. So I can't tell you if it's working or not yet. I just want to tell you what my experience has been, why I chose them. 
I want to know, like you to know that I'm here with you if you're going through this, I'm experiencing it. Drop your comments below. I love hearing from you guys and have a little chat down there as well. I'm going to link the products you can get online, but again, these are prescribed for me. They're very specific to my needs. You can get the non-prescription stuff on there, but just do the hair quiz. Get like kind of what they recommend to you, not what I'm using would be my biggest takeaway from this. And again, just don't buy all the supplements because you think, oh, the more the better. It's not like that. Be kind of like a little bit more picky with what you pick. If you're already taking like a multivitamin, don't go and overdo like a load of other kind of like supplements that have got the same thing in. Okay, I think that's it. Um, I think I'm gonna do these once a month, just really quick check-ins, and then I'll do like a really long one again, like this kind of length at the end of six months to show you the before, after. Hopefully it's been a difference and I haven't just spent a load of money on these consultations and products. Either way, I think it's good to change up hair care and kind of learn some new tips and figure out what was lacking. So I, and just for mentally for me, I feel a lot better knowing that I'm doing something about this. I'm trying not just, you know what, it will just grow back. I'm like, I'm being proactive and I think that's all you can really do. So if you're going through this, good luck with your hair journey. I'm here with you. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe. I'm do a quick little video so we can compare this now to in six months time and then hopefully we see a result and difference in the end.